Greetings. I am the observant living instant virtual environment responder, but you can call me Oliver. Get out. Whom am I helping today? I'm, uh, Daniel? Well, hi there, Daniel. Say, chap, what's your Wi-Fi network? Well, the Wi-Fi is pretty fly for a Wi-Fi, and the password is say cheese all in one word. Word. Got it. Wonderful. Let me show you all the things I can do to make your home more productive. Hit it! So I say to the guy, of course I shoot digital. It literally has no negative. Ha ha ha! Because it lacks an analog component not necessitating a printed form. You're a legend, Daniel. Yeah, you're not so bad yourself there, Ollie. Expecting company? Oh yeah, it must be the assistant I hired from Wage. Wage? Ah, found it. Wage, get the job done. Gigs on demand. See jobs in your area. Create jobs and share them. But Daniel, I thought I was your assistant. We can't do everything, buddy. Waiting at the door. Waiting at the door. Oliver, unlock the door. My bad. Hi. Hi. You must be Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Thanks for coming. I uh, have a bunch of prints that I need cataloged for an upcoming show, and I'm swamped. No problem. Organization is my middle name. She's lying. Her middle name is Kate. Oliver, stop looking up Sandra. Sorry. Uh, Did he just? It's a new uh, smart home thingy. Yeah, no, it's OK. I used to have this like robot vacuum cleaner thing, and it, it, it didn't suck, which totally sucked. <laughs> Not funny. Hey, watch it. Sorry. So I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll set you up with a workstation, get you going. Yeah, perfect. Daniel, I don't trust Sandra, and she's positively swimming in student loan debt. I told you to stop looking her up. Why is it so hot in here? It's hot as hell in here. Did you set this? No, I thought you did. I'm burning up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sandra asked me to alert her of any hot back-to-school deals. No, I didn't. I graduated ten years ago. Yeah, with a theatre degree. Hi, I'm Doug from Wage, and Oliver ordered me for home record cleaning. He did what? That's it. I'm turning you off. Quick, get the one in the office. Got it. Oliver is your f -f -f friend. Oliver is your best f -f 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 friend. Oliver! Hey Oliver, how's this for a twist? Oliver is your best friend. Uh, 
Uh, I think I'm gonna work remotely. Probably a good idea. Um, hello? Okay, just gotta hook this up to Wi-Fi and you're all set. This is online? No, man, you gotta get that offline. But it has smart home features, though. You don't understand. The machines, they're everywhere, man. They're watching us. Okay, I'm gonna get going now. Get down. Hi, it's Jack from Wage. You order a delivery? Hi, Jack from Wage. Come on in. So we need to get these uh, furry feet to the post office. Furry feet? Yeah. Fur for your feet. I make them. <laughs> so we need to take all of these to the post office like ASAP, okay? Sure thing. I'm just gonna grab my phone and the world. Ah! <gasps> what? What's going on? Yeah, I think you're gonna actually make two deliveries today. What are you talking about? That's not funny. It's kind of funny. Oh my God. It's also really painful and it is baby time. So you need to take me to the hospital. I mean, shouldn't you call an ambulance? $600 for a taxi? Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 don't forget the packages. Don't forget the packages. Okay, 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 okay. Just go. Oh my God. Let's go. 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 God, God! Okay, come on. Oh, oh God, it's so quiet. I need a distraction. Do you have like, do you have music or like an audio book or a podcast? Maybe? Yeah, sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave it on. It's, I really like it. It's like, it's like a funk. It's like a fucking beat. It's like a fucking beat. Uh, really? Uh, thanks, I mean, that's me, that's my music. What, that's you? Oh my God, you're like a literal track of all trades. Oh my God. Don't ever complain, Jack. I know I gotta call the husband, I gotta call. Hold on. Hello? Oh my God, the friggin' baby. Is what I would say if I was actually here. hey -o. at the sound. Oh, every time. Every time I fall for that, oh my god. Okay, so just uh, tell me, tell me more about yourself, Jack. I mean, like, you do music, you, you do this job. I mean, like, is there a significant other? You know, my mom isn't doing too well, so um, uh, between this wage and uh, working uh, on my music, no, not really. Okay, you know what, Jack? Forget it, forget it. We do, we're not gonna make it to the hospital. Turn around and go home. We're gonna have no more time. Y yes, more time. We need to go to the hospital. No more time. It is baby time now, right now. It's coming like in the car. Turn around now. No, 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 no. Oh my god, Jack, you gotta help me get my pants off. I was just supposed to go to the post office. Jack, right now! Jack! Jack, oh god! <laughs> Jack! Oh my god. My neighbor saw you pass out and he, he came over. Says are way better than my soaps. <laughs> Is the baby okay? Jack, she's perfect. Aww. She's perfect. Oh God, I'm gonna name her Jackie. 
Really? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> God, you were such a trooper. And guess what? You still have time to go to the post office. <laughs> Sandra. Yes, Mr. Ace Story? Oh, no. Please, call me Mr. Ace. Would you mind pulling over just up here? I have some business to attend to before we head to the party. No problem. I hope you don't mind my asking, how did a girl like you wind up with such a... An old man car? Yeah. <laughs> it was my grandfather's before he passed. Oh. It is a boat. It's in such fine shape. Regular maintenance and a lot of love. He would say that all of the time. Would you be my guest in the office for a minute before we head off? You're paying. Pack your stuff, you're done for the week. If, I, if, I, if I'm in Odessa come the holidays, I'll be sure and stop by. Sure. You'll be very happy with the premium package. The email's been sent. You too. So, I say to her, babe, I could sell ice to the guys who sell ice to Eskimos. <laughs> Zing, you said that? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Wait, why, why would you need to sell Eskimos ice? I don't know, peer pressure. Nice. You know? Hey, there he is. <laughs> the big boss. <laughs> Coming to say hi to the dream team. <laughs> you two. Conference table. Now. Mr. Ace, is, is there a problem? I don't see how there could be with such amazing sales. You know, I gotta admit, I almost didn't notice the phone spoofing software. Illegal, as that is. Good job setting that up. See, Kenny here. Just, just, thanks. When he calls, it appears that he's calling from a real estate brokerage. That's a bold, but effective strategy. But Morgan, oh Morgan, Morgan went all in. Because who wouldn't buy tax preparation advice from the IRS themselves? The IRS? Really? I, I needed the numbers. I've got a kid on the way. You risked everything I built at Telemetrics. The whole business he built. Both idiots. Right. Both. No, no, yeah. 15 years I've been working to build this company into a pillar of the telemarketing industry selling only the finest home goods, insurance plans, pediatric cleaning supplies, and more. The extended car warranty cold call, that was me! It's a landmark of Kenny. Yep, sorry. Now I need you both to sit here and wait for me to get back. We're, in, we're, 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 we're definitely in trouble now, this is not good. Hi, Mom. No, I haven't paid back my student loans. Well, screw my credit score. Mom, you know what my credit score is? It's no. Sandra, could you come into the office for a minute? Gladly. Bye, Mom. Gentlemen, 
This is Sandra. Hey. How you doing? She's a lovely young woman that I've hired off the Wage app to be my driver this evening. Now, it's recently come to my attention that Sandra is driving her late grandfather's car. And if I'm not mistaken, it's no longer under warranty. I think it would be beneficial for someone here to make sure that Sandra leaves with a warranty for that car if he sees himself having a future with this company. <clears throat> Thank you so much for letting me go first, Morgan. Hi, Sandra, my name is Kenny. And I don't need a warranty. Ellie. No one needs I... a warranty, Sandra, but if I may, I don't know what you think, but when I look out at the world, I see a big, uncertain world. And the only way to give yourself some sense of certainty in a world like that is by taking a small measure to protect the things you care about most. Can we get you into a warranty today? It's a, no, I don't need a warranty. I, I, yeah, no, no, but remember I said oh, the whole thing about the window and how big the world is? I'm so sorry about my coworkers' brazen attitude. There's nothing brazen about it that. It was a little brazen. Even it if it just, was, it's, a, it's my it's approach. A little brazen. Sandra, Mr. Ace was telling me that this was your grandfather's car. Yes, it was his pride and joy. You know, I used to take rides in my grandfather's car. He had a 73 Chevy, with the Chevy Nova, it was nice. Um, and he would take me to get ice cream. And he said, if I buckled up, I'd get an extra scoop. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cute. And that's why I'm not trying to sell you a warranty. I'm trying to sell you your grandfather's love. Just think about that for two years, for $100. That's all it would take to preserve his memory. You're right, yeah. Free! I I'll do the warranty for free. Uh, OK, a uh, free guy. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank oh. you, Sandra. You can start the car, I'll be down in a moment. Thank you. Whoa. How do you guys make money? Whoa, free? You can't do free. You did what it takes. You close the sale. Pack your things. Kenny, you're paying for that warranty. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. of course. Yeah. Yes, 100%. I guess IRS stands for I'm really sad. Today we are making my signature Asadorian wraps, turkey and gravy in an iceberg boat. Mm, mm, mm. Naughty on the lips, nice on the hips. Hey mister, mm. this big boy's had three wraps already. Next we're going to be making my signature cauliflower gingerbread cookies. Who looks better with his shirt on? I thought you'd look more plumber like. Like Mario? Yeah, like Mario. The guests are coming, it's totally clogged. Good luck. Ok, 
Harry, will you please get ready? Daddy's gonna be here soon. Ugh. I don't even want to do this party. Who wants to do Christmas in July anyway? Ho, 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 it's hot, hot, hot. Christmas in July is an ace telemetrics tradition. Yeah, well, so is selling reverse home mortgages. Doesn't mean I want to do it. Well, I'm sorry you have a problem with the job my father gave you. The good job. Telemarketing blows. I miss working outside. Ha! <laughs> you mean the landscaping business you tanked? You suck at landscaping. It's not my fault the market dried up. What market? All the lawns? Looks like there's a whole lot of market outside there to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Little Miss never had to lift a finger. Out here, we work. And you think running a successful lifestyle brand isn't work? Since when is 400 subscribers successful? You watch your Christmas mouth, mister. <laughs> I didn't eat your gross turkey thing. You what? I stuffed it down the drain. <laughs> Just like I stuff my emotions down, day after day after day. Welcome to Winona's Kitchen, super meanie husband edition. Could we not with the- Got the job done. Whew. You cannot imagine the day I've had. You, if you're not happy at work, stop taking it out on her. It's not like you're paying for this place anyway. And you. Nobody likes healthy Christmas food. And if he's miserable, he needs support. He's your husband after all, although I don't know why. Babe, I'm sorry that I yelled. And I'm sorry that I stuffed your cooking down the drain. The plumber. Jack. Jack's, right. I have been acting like a child. I'm sorry that I said that you suck at landscaping. You don't suck at landscaping. I just want you to be happy. Always a happy ending at Winona's Kitchen, y'all. That's Daddy. I'm gonna go answer the door. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. You wound up unclogging a lot more than our sink. Well, feel free to throw in a little extra. I want you to have this. And I'm working as a driver on wage. And I'm working as a driver on wage. Hey, great voice. Oh, thanks. You scared me. I'm sorry. You got lettuce on your head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These people are crazy. Well, crazy's been paying the bills. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Um, I'm Jack. Sandra. Well, Merry Christmas, Sandra. Hey, Merry Christmas, Jack. Jack, it's July. No, Jack, 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 wait, wait, wait. I need help, Bad Jack, okay? And look, I know you need the money. Okay, and look, I've already had the baby. So how bad could it be? How is the baby? She's amazing. And just about as useful as my husband. <laughs> which is why I need your help. All right. Oh, okay, good, okay. Oh my God, J I'm kidding, totally kidding. Okay. So I started making these furry feet, you know, as a hobby. And then I posted a picture of me wearing them, you know, the day that I gave birth in your car. Do you remember that day, Jack? Yeah. 
Anyway, the news picked it up, Jack. They picked it up and it went viral. It's everywhere. Look at this. Woman in amazing boots gives birth in a car. I mean, it was your car, but still amazing. Amazing boots. And now it has been nonstop orders for furry feet ever since. So well, between that and the baby and my husband, I mean like, Jack, I need help doing everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. I mean like sewing, packing, shipping, cleaning up, relax, breastfeeding. Relax, relax. Can you breastfeed? I, don't... <laughs> I got you, relax, I can help. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. I actually just think I, I owe you some work that doesn't involve umbilical cords. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all right, she's awake. I gotta go check on her. Um, why don't you start by sweeping up this war zone because I can't find, I can't find my life, okay? My life is under here somewhere, so thank you. Okay, okay yeah, sure thing. You okay? Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm okay, I got a little coffee in my eye. Who the hell are you? I'm Jack, um, I heard crying and... Jack? The Jack? Probably. <laughs> oh, God, I should have been there. <laughs> you see, Jack, I have two babies to deal with. I'm a race car without wheels, man. I'm like a, I'm like a ship without a rudder, you know. He just, lost his stupid sales job. I just want to. Morgan, get off him. Never get old, Jack. Okay. Babe, can you get that, please? Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Uh-huh. No, she's busy. You want to leave a message? Ah, yeah, let me grab a pen. Oh, found one. Go ahead. Tracy from Tracy's Boutique. Looking to purchase furry feet. Purchase. 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 Actually, Tracy, I'm just the guy you need to speak with. My name is Morgan, and I'm the regional sales director for Furry Feet. Tracy, we both know Furry Feet is a huge hit. Okay, let me ask you this. How many pairs were you gonna purchase? 10? No, no, no. Do 20, and guess what I'll do for you? I'll throw in five pairs for free. Yeah, these are the most yes mammable, Instagrammable, non flammable, mostly non flammable furry footwear you will find anywhere. So, what do you say? Excellent! We'll keep in touch. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao! <laughs> Since when do you say ciao? Since I became the regional sales director for Furry Feet, which leads me to my next question. Can I please be the regional sales director for Furry Feet? Yes, babe. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Twenty in a day, and they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> right? I did it. I sold it big. You did. You know I why? So because you're a big, sexy sales machine. I'm so big. Oh, oh my God! Long. You said so all night long. long. I'm right here. Hey, Jack. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, honey, could you get that? Because I'm gonna. And that, but we're not done with this conversation. Yeah, then I'll go get it so hard. Hurry yeah, up! I'm gonna put my furry feet on. I'll get it. Hi, I'm Doug from Wage, Mr. Uh, Ace, yeah, Ace wants to see you. Oh. Mr. Ace, good to see you, Morgan. Yeah, I'll get right to it. I think it's time for you and Telemetrics to work together again. 
Oh, uh, thanks, Miss Race. But my wife and I are really happy. We're running a business. Sales are amazing. I get to see my kid yeah, every that's, day. That's good. That's yeah. good. You, you misunderstand. Uh, I don't want you to work for me. I mean, we all know how that ended up. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I want you to work with me. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I know a good thing when I see it, Morgan. I'm a fan. I mean, and I want in. Manufacturing, marketing, everything. I am all in. What do you say? Oh, oh, yeah. One second. Hey, honey. Honey, I'm here with Mr. Ace. And guess what? He wants to invest in furry fish. Yeah. She said, okay. How, she how said, yeah. A question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Put her there. <laughs> Hey, this is Kenny, and I'd like to talk to you about getting you into a car warranty. And before you say I don't have any desire for a car warranty, I'd like you. Uh, hi. Hmm? Oh, hey. It's the plumber guy. Jack. Jack. The plumber guy. Why are you here? Uh, someone named uh, Mr. Ace set me up for some data entry. Another one? Another what? Data entryist. Let's go talk to the girl in the corner. She'll walk you through it. Copy that. I don't think you're making any copies. Uh, hi. Do I know you? Yeah, I... You're the guy with the lettuce on his head. <laughs> you're Sender the Singing Driver, huh? Good to see you again. Yeah, weird. Can I sit? No, you can't. You have to stand there, actually. Uh, what? But, uh... Sit! I'm playing with you! <laughs> you gotta loosen up, buddy. We got a long day of data entry. This one's for you. Hey, plumber guy, data girl. A little less talk, a little more data entry. That guy weirds me out. This has been a weird week. There's no way it's weirder than mine. Oh yeah? Try me. Okay, I work for this guy, and I had to wage war in his smart home AI. And then we got it to crash when he checked it right at his thermostat. Next up, had a job to drive, and I pull up to the office when we arrive. What happened next I could not foresee when he gave me an extended car warranty. crazy week, but I don't think you're going to believe me when I tell you about mine. Try me. Smart home will be hard to beat, but the lady had a baby in my car's backseat. But I really need the cash, so I do a plumbing gig for Mr. Big Mustache. He stuffed cooking down the drain, which is why I had gravy dripping down my brain. And finally, it was really sweet, I had the baby lady make furry feet. Furry feet? What are those? It's fur. For your feet. Oh. I miss working with the trees. I miss working on my knees. Marketing is for the bees. It's time to be at ease. Wanna work all day outside. Outside felt so alive. Man, I hate this nine to five. Out of gas, don't got the drive. Getting tired of this commute. This ain't living, I will dispute. Where's the work I really dig? Think it's time to get a new gig!
Do they have landscapers on a wage? Yeah, sure do. You two are good together. Um, would you mind uh, going to... Yes! I, I would like that. Cool, well, let's go finish that dentist stuff, I guess. You're always trying to earn that wage. 